Monday's scheduled launch of NASA's 322-foot-tall Artemis I rocket has been delayed after one of the engines didn't cool enough to allow a safe ignition. The project, five years in the making, is so complex, say NASA officials, delays are to be expected. This is a very complicated machine, a very complicated system, and all those things have to work. And you don't want to light the candle until it's ready to go. So, uh, you know, this is just part of the space business. And it's part of particularly a test flight. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins me now uh, from the Kennedy Space Center. Bill, you don't want to light that candle until it's ready. Explain what it was about the candle, the technical issues that caused this launch to be scrubbed. Yeah, you know, John, and, and really it's interesting. You, you talked about in the intro how what a complicated rocket it is. Interestingly, the, the, the equipment that was in question today, it all dates back to the shuttle program with lots and lots of flight experience. And so it's a little bit unexpected to see these kinds of problems this far down the road. Uh, but anyway, the trouble they had today is they need to keep the four engines at the base of that core stage, the, the first stage of the rocket, they need to keep them cool. They chill them so that when the super cold hydrogen and oxygen get there for launch, it doesn't shock the system. In other words, imagine minus 423 degree hydrogen hitting hardware, you know, that right out of the blue. So they want to chill the engines, get them ready to start, and they had problems with that. There's a system that uh, routes liquid hydrogen down to the engines. It circulates through those things, gets them conditioned for that thermal shock. And one of the engines, number three, never got down to the low temperature that's required. It's needed for launch. That, that basically, they couldn't fly that way, and they weren't able to solve the problem before the time ran out. On top of that, they ran into a second unexpected problem with the valve on the rocket. Uh, we still don't know the impact of that, but both of these issues have to be resolved before they fly. Negative 423 degrees is a little bit colder than the uh, ice maker in the, yeah. in the freezer. So tell me this, Bill, Definitely. can this be fixed uh, before Friday's uh, launch window? That's the next launch window in Friday. Yeah, that's a big question, John, and we just don't know the answer to that. NASA's mission management team is going to meet tomorrow to review the data, figure out what the path forward might be. Uh, but it's very difficult to access some of these systems at the launch pad. So if they can fix it, it's probably going to be a procedural change some way to work around the problem versus directly addressing a hardware issue. But again, until they look at the data, review everything that happened, we're not going to know exactly A, what went wrong, or B, what it's going to take to fix it. Bill, help us understand the timeline of delays, because there have been delays in the past. Is this the normal course of business? You know, it's a very compli complicated thing, um, as Bill Nelson was saying. Um, or does your spidey sense tell you something else here? You know, it, it's really hard to say. It's the first flight of the biggest, most powerful rocket NASA's ever built. Uh, so naturally, they're not going to take any chances. They need to make sure everything's working perfectly. I mean, just to put a dollars and cents value on it, you know, this rocket is valued at $4.1 billion. I mean, that's not something you, you take any chances with at all. And of course, it's the, the linchpin. This rocket is the linchpin of NASA's Artemis moon program. If they want to send astronauts back to the moon, they need this rocket to do it. And so for this first unpiloted test flight, they want to make sure everything's working well. Now, having said that, they're taking a few more risks with this flight than they would for a mission with astronauts on board. But still, you know, the rocket itself getting off the ground, that's got to work, and they're not taking any chances. And so as a final question, does this imperil that larger mission um, or in the, the large sweep of time and how long this takes, this will end up being a blip? I don't think so. I think in the end this will be a blip. I mean, the first mission with crew on board is not even planned until late 2024. Uh, so clearly if this flight slips uh, another few days, weeks, or even months, I don't think it will impact that unless there's a bigger problem here. And, and really the bigger problem may be the cost of this program. It's going to be very hard to sustain over the long haul. Another reason they need to get the rocket flying as soon as they can. Mm, that's fascinating. Bill Harwood, it's always a pleasure to talk to you at the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you.